The combination product, Midol PM, contains acetaminophen and an antihistamine. Acetaminophen helps to reduce fever and mild to moderate pain, such as headache, backache, and muscle strains. The antihistamine in this product can also cause drowsiness and may be used as a nighttime sleep aid. It can also help relieve allergy or cold symptoms like watery eyes, itchy eyes slash nose slash throat, runny nose, and sneezing. It is not recommended for use in children younger than 6 years and some products are not recommended for use in children younger than 12 years. It is important to carefully follow all dosage directions to decrease the risk for serious side effects. Do not use this product to make a child sleepy, and do not give other cough and cold medication that might contain the same or similar ingredients. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details about using Midol PM safely. Before taking Midol PM, make sure to carefully read and follow all the directions on the product package. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to consult your pharmacist. If your doctor has prescribed this medication, make sure to take it exactly as directed. You can take Midol PM by mouth with or without food, as directed by your doctor. If you experience stomach upset, you can take it with food or milk. If you're using the liquid form, be sure to measure your prescribed dose carefully using a medication measuring device or spoon. Do not use a household spoon as it may not provide the correct dose. For extended release capsules, swallow them whole and do not crush or chew them. This is to avoid releasing all of the drug at once, which can increase the risk of side effects. The dosage of Midol PM is based on your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. It's best to use pain medications at the first signs of pain. If you wait until the symptoms have worsened, the medication may not work as well. Remember not to take Midol PM for pain for more than 10 days if you're an adult, or 5 days if you're a child, unless directed by a doctor. Similarly, do not take this product for a fever for more than 3 days unless directed by your doctor. If your condition lasts or gets worse, or if you think you may have a serious medical problem, it's important to seek medical help right away. It's important to be aware of the potential side effects of Midol PM. You may experience dizziness, drowsiness, constipation, stomach upset, blurred vision, or dry mouth slash nose slash throat. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's essential to notify your doctor or pharmacist. If your doctor has prescribed this medication for you, it's because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Most people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to seek medical attention right away if you have any serious side effects, such as mental-slash-mood changes, like confusion, or difficulty urinating. While it's rare, a very serious allergic reaction to this drug can occur. Seek immediate medical help if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching-slash-swelling, especially of the face-slash-tongue-slash-throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Remember, this is not a complete list of potential side effects. If you notice any other effects not listed here, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the U.S., you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. It's important to note that Midol PM contains acetaminophen, which can cause liver disease if taken in excessive amounts. Adults should not take more than 4,000 mg 4 grams, of acetaminophen a day, and those with liver problems and children should take less. It's crucial to check the labels of all your medications to see if they contain acetaminophen and to ask your pharmacist if you're unsure. If you take too much acetaminophen, seek medical help immediately, even if you feel okay. Symptoms of an overdose include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, sweating, stomach pain, extreme tiredness, yellowing of the skin and eyes, and dark urine. Using alcohol daily, especially with acetaminophen, can harm your liver, so it's best to avoid alcohol when taking Midol PM. Before taking Midol PM, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies, especially to acetaminophen or antihistamines. This medication may also contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other issues, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. 
It's important to also inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have breathing problems, glaucoma, heart disease, high blood pressure, liver disease, stomach or intestinal problems, overactive thyroid gland, or urination problems. Midol PM may cause dizziness, drowsiness, or blurred vision, and using alcohol or marijuana can intensify these effects. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, or doing anything that requires alertness or clear vision until you can do so safely, and to avoid alcoholic beverages. If you have diabetes, alcohol dependence, liver disease, phenylketonuria, or any other condition that requires you to limit or avoid alcohol, sugar, or aspartame, it's important to use caution when using liquid Midol PM products. Before undergoing any surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Midol PM may also have different effects on different age groups. Children may be more sensitive to the side effects of antihistamines, while older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of dizziness, drowsiness, confusion, constipation, or trouble urinating. Pregnant women should only use this medication when clearly needed, and breastfeeding women should consult their doctor before using this medication. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with Midol PM. This includes antihistamines applied to the skin, ketoconazole, and levocatoconazole. It's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products. It's also essential to let them know if you are taking any other products that cause drowsiness, such as opioid pain or cough relievers, alcohol, marijuana, drugs for sleep or anxiety, muscle relaxants, or other antihistamines. Additionally, this medication may interfere with certain medical or lab tests, so it's important to inform lab personnel and your doctors that you are taking Midol PM. Always follow your doctor's guidance and ask your pharmacist about using other products safely. If someone takes too much Midol PM and has severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 right away. Otherwise, contact a poison control center immediately. In the US, you can call 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents should call their provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, sweating, stomach pain, extreme tiredness, agitation, confusion, flushing, hallucinations, yellowing of the eyes or skin, dark urine, and seizures. In children, excitement may occur first, followed by loss of coordination, drowsiness, loss of consciousness, and seizures. Remember, it's important to take Midol PM as directed and not exceed the recommended dosage. Always seek medical help if you suspect an overdose. If your doctor has prescribed Midol PM, it is important not to share it with others. It is also important to keep all medical and lab appointments while taking this medication. If you forget to take your Midol PM on your regular schedule, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, then just skip the missed one. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to stick to your regular dosing schedule. When storing Midol PM, make sure to keep it at room temperature in a place away from light and moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and do not freeze the liquid forms of this product. It's important to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of Midol PM, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on the proper way to dispose of it. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.